Hi and welcome to Sensation Science Centre in Dundee. My name is Gemma and today we're going to make a paper model of DNA. Now, do you know what DNA is? Shall we take a closer look? So DNA is built up from a four letter alphabet. A, T, C and G. Now these always pair in a special way. As you can see, A always goes with T and G always goes with C. And these make up what we call genes. And genes are what make you look the way you are and be who you are. So, what we need to do to start off with is you need to get one of these. You can get these off our website. This is a DNA template. The first thing you need to do is cut it out. Okay, when it's all cut out, it will look like that. And what you need to do then is fold it in half down the big line in the middle. So just fold that over. And you need to make sure the lines are really firm, so use your nail to fold it down. Just make sure it's really nice and flat. And then you take it so that the big thick line, the diagonal one here, is at the front. And then you need to fold them over down like this. And again, make sure it's nice and firm, so use your nails again. And then unfold and do that all the way down the whole. And when you finish that stage, it should have curled up a little bit like this. And then you want to turn it over, and then there are thin diagonal lines, and you need to fold down those diagonal lines, so like this. Make sure it's nice and firm again, so just remember to use your nail again. And then you have something that looks a little bit like this. As you can see, it's just beginning to turn a little bit, but it still does not look much like this one. So the next stage is to fold these bits over, these nice white bits with the letters on them. So fold them out like this on one side, and then the other side you fold them over the other way so that they're both facing in different directions. And then here comes the tricky bit, because we have to try and make that look like that. So what we need to do is very carefully start to concertina it, so a bit like a fan. This bit's really tricky, so you might need to get some help. And you hold it all down together, give it a good squish, then when you unfurl it, looks just about like a double helix. There we go. So, why don't you make your own one at home, and then come along to Dundee Science Centre to learn a little bit more about DNA. Thank you.